Hello everyone, Linda Israel here today. I was sitting here cleaning off my desk and I was looking at this journal that I made and I had stuck a pin in the lace here, but it flops around and comes out. So I thought, how can I make a way to attach this, but not permanently to the journal? So I was kind of playing around and I thought I would share with you what I came up with. So what I did was I happened to have some elastic in my stash. I'm a seamstress. I used to make all kinds of things. In fact, I think I bought this when COVID hit and I made a bunch of masks and it is a narrow kind of stretchy elastic. So if you think elastic cord or flat elastic, maybe you have something that you can take apart that has some elastic in it. I, you don't need very much, like probably less than two inches probably and what I did was is I cut two pieces of cardstock in this case the cardstock measures two inches by an inch and a half the idea was is that it was enough to cover a paper clip and what I did was I put down a little bead of Fabri-Tac glue and then I laid my elastic on it and I put them back to back like this and I put my pin in between and to figure out how much I needed because I wanted it to have a little bit of give but yet enough that it would hold the pin. See how it's kind of holding that into place? And I glued over the top two pieces of scraps of paper. So my thought was, I've got this skinny piece of book page that I'm going to put the paper clip over. Then these two pieces are going to decorate this portion. But I wanted something pretty to go on here. So I got a scrap of paper that I think is going to work size wise and I have some strips of paper so I'm going to glue these strips onto this bigger piece. I'm just using Aline's tacky glue and this is just a piece of book page that I had laying on my desk and these were scraps left over from prior projects that I had laying over here on my desk and I thought if I just kind of position each one I can cover this and give it something a little bit decorative to put on my paper clip. And then from the back side, I'm just going to use my bone folder to kind of smooth that out. And I'll trim off the excess. And what I want to do first is I want to go to my sewing machine and stitch on top of here. If you don't have a sewing machine, I would cut your elastic longer and I would make sure that you glue down the whole piece of paper over the top of it. So it will help hold it into place because this will get tugged on and what will happen is it will eventually just kind of pull completely out. But I'm just going to stitch right across here and then I'm going to stitch down the middle here and then cut this piece up. So let's go over to the sewing machine. I have a regular sewing machine. I bought this back in 2014. I happened to take a picture of it the day I bought it and it came up in my Facebook memories and I bought it in November 2014 because I was doing a lot of quilting back then and I wanted a machine that had auto threading and it also had um, a thread cutter on it and it was just a newer fangled machine than my old machine. So a regular sewing machine will work. I have mine set to do a zigzag stitch. I've got black thread in the upper and I've got black thread in the lower. So use whatever you have. So first what I'm going to do, I know the glue is dry because I've let this set for a little while, is I just want to stitch over that elastic. I may back stitch over it a couple times. So that's on one side and I'll just flip it around and do the other one. So that'll help keep that elastic from pulling free from this piece. So now what I'm going to do is just stitch over the seams where the paper comes together. So it looks like that. All right, let's go back over here to the main desk. So now that I have this piece and I have my paper clip, my thought was I wanted to put this in here so that it was sandwiched 
it would cover the paper clip and because these papers is separate it should then when you have it glued properly slip over your page and be a double-sided paper clip in theory right so what i'm going to do now is i want to glue my paper clip and these two pieces together so i'm going to put a generous amount of glue down the middle and around the perimeter of the paper and I want the ugly side in where the paper clip is Oop, if I don't throw it on the ground so I'm just going to position this in the middle here and smash that down into place and to help this be able to come apart I'm going to fold over the edge on one side of my paper clip and glue that in place and then I'll only put glue right here and then up the sides down that middle and then I'll fold this over lining it up so it's the same size on both sides and to help this glue for a few minutes I'm going to put a little clip on here to kind of help hold that together for a moment and while that's drying I'm gonna take this piece now again I know that my outer piece is two inches by one and a half inches so looking at my pieces here I think I can get away with doing let's do a how do I want to do this I was trying to decide if I wanted to make it bigger or if I wanted to make it about the same size so that's why I cut extra paper to try to decide which way I liked it and I think what I want to do is I'm going to cut a two inch strip because so this is two inches in size so maybe two and a smidge over and then I know it's an inch and a half wide so an inch and a half wide so if I go just beyond a tiny bit and then I'll do this again making it the same size And now I've got these two little pieces so let's add some distress inks to the edges and I think I know it's small but I may go ahead and stitch around this outside edge just to kind of give it a little bit more by stitching around it so let's go back to the sewing machine and stitch on this piece when I get to the end of a line and I need to stitch all the way around a piece, I will leave the needle down, raise the presser foot, swing the paper around, put the presser foot back down and continue sewing. So there's one piece and we'll do it to the other one. All right, so I've added some decorative stitches to these pieces this has been sitting for just a moment but it should be enough yeah okay that looks pretty good so I want to place these pieces on either side so it covers up that brown cardstock now if you like the brown cardstock be my guest I'll put glue just on the cardstock portion And let's glue this into place trim off these threads and then we'll put glue on this side and glue this down and I will put my clips back on for a few minutes while I dig around in my ephemera to see what I want to glue on top of this to give it a little bit more decoration 
I have a little pouch of some fussy cut elements from Calco Collage, and I thought if I used a couple of these, may, they might look pretty. So let's add some Distress inks to the edges of those. All right, so I know that it's going to load onto my page this way, just to kind of get an idea. I've got a book page here. So the idea is that it would just slide over the page if I got it right. I may need to add more glue here. There we go. So I got this little piece. So what if I put this little flower? I know it covers up the little decorative paper underneath, but isn't that just part of it though, the whole process? Let me zoom in so you can see this a little bit. So I've just got this little piece. So I'm gonna glue that down in the middle. And then I'll flip this over. And I think this one, I'll do, maybe we'll put it, I want to put it sideways. I've had some little words. Let's see if I've got something. I have the word journal that I stamped out a while back. I like these little, uh, I make my own little envelopes and then I stamp the words and I put them in a little five by seven pouch so that I can find them. So what if we did something like that? I think I like that. So I'm going to put this one piece down. And I may change my mind. I may put it this way. And then put the word journal across. That'll work. So it's keeping it relatively flat. So it doesn't take up a lot of bulk, even though I have used several layers of paper. And then my pen can slip right there in that elastic and it stays in place. Let me zoom back out. And so you want to pull on the paper clip and not the elastic. And then here's my journal. So if I open this up and I decide I want to place this over the edge of the page, I can just slide this over. And we gotta get it started the first time because I think I still need to adjust I think that looks pretty good, don't you? Laying on the side of the page where it says journal. We could even add a little word on this side if we wanted to as well, but I think that works out pretty well. I hope you liked just a quick little tutorial on making a pen holder for your junk journal using some elastic and some scraps and a paper clip. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below about what you liked about this video. And hey, if you have any questions or maybe you're looking for a tutorial on something else, do let me know. If I've got it, I will share it with you. If I don't, maybe I'll make a video for you. All right, everybody, know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on YouTube. Hey, do something creative today. Do something with kindness and give a little bit of kindness to someone else in this world. You never know what they're going through and maybe your smile or just a kind word will help them tremendously. All right, everybody have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.